we still find challenges of barriers and roadblocks and bureaucracy around movement of goods and services in our continent. I know with your commitment, the commitment of the people of this great nation, we will move towards a visa-free region and a visa-free continent. Kenya already made the decision five years ago that any African who wants to visit Kenya can acquire a visa at the airport in Nairobi. We are, we are currently having a national conversation whether any African needs a visa at all, forget one at the airport. And um, I think by the end of this year, we will have made a decision because we share history, we share culture, we share destiny, and it is in our place to begin to imagine a continent of brothers and sisters that does not have the limitations of barriers and boundaries and bureaucracy that impedes movement of people or goods or services. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, as we reflect on this matter, the visa regime was introduced to us by our friends, largely from the West. Today, they have largely moved away from visa restrictions in their jurisdictions. For example, the EU of 27 countries have a single visa for 27 countries and half a billion people. And yet, we have been left stuck with visas, which they introduced and abandoned, and we are now victims and hostages of visas from one country to another. I think we need to do the right thing, because if those who introduce the visa find no meaning for it anymore, why should we? Your Excellency, I think this is a conversation that you and me and our other brothers in the continent need to have so that we can unleash the full potential of the people of our continent, the people of our countries, to do the best to grow the opportunities that we have in our countries. The bonds of culture and history between our two countries speak volumes of the possibilities that exist between our two nations. As you mentioned in your statement, Mr. President, Kenya participated in no small way in actualizing the struggle for independence of this great nation. And we are very, very proud of the achievements that have been made by the people of Mozambique ever since they became an independent nation. We congratulate you, Your Excellency, for finally, this year, bringing to an end the culture of violence in our politics. And we are proud of you. We commend all the leaders in Mozambique for embracing and celebrating the democratic credentials of your country.
We are great believers, Your Excellency, that as a continent, the same way we said no to colonial domination that was imposed on us by force, violence must never have a place in the governance, in the politics, and in the political discourse of any nation. And we congratulate you for bringing the culture of violence around our politics to an end in Mozambique. We celebrate that achievement that you, Mr. President, became the president that brought this to an end. You have our support, you have our prayers as a continent as we march on as democratic countries. The Africa Continental Free Trade Area, which we are both signatories, both countries are signatories. The tripartite agreement, which again we have agreed that we are going to move it forward. The AFRIAGZIM program that makes it easier for our business people to trade by making it possible for our business people to trade in local currencies are among the many instruments that we are putting in place to support the growth of enterprise and business in our continent as we forge ahead in dealing with the challenges that we have. This is what I see, Your Excellency, in the Kenya-Mozambique relations. A successful, opportunity-making partnership that is going places. And I am privileged to have the singular honor of leading this phase of our wonderful bilateral phenomenon with you, Your Excellency, on the other side. You are a very dear brother and true friend to me and to the people of Kenya. And your consideration does me and my country much honor, which I highly appreciate. Your Excellencies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is again a proud moment for us to celebrate what has already been achieved by our predecessors who made it possible for us to make it easier for citizens to travel between our countries, to make it easier for trade, for investments, for the movement of goods, for the movement of services between our two countries. And I want to commit that Kenya will continue to play our part in making sure that we build on this very solid foundation to take our country into the future as we do our region and our continent as well. I want to commit to you the partnership and the cooperation of the government and people of Kenya in dealing with the challenge of organized crime, terrorism, and violent extremism so that we can stabilize our region, secure our countries, and provide the best possible opportunity for growth in our nations. Our strategic partnership has been singularly successful in many domains, and we have much to show for it. I bring warm greetings and messages of goodwill from your brothers and sisters, the people of Kenya. I'm informed that over a thousand Kenyans have made Mozambique their home, where they live in, 
and they do so in peace and security and pursue their livelihoods without let or hindrance. Likewise, members of the Mozambican diaspora have become full citizens of Kenya and excellent ambassadors of their brothers and sisters over here. Mozambique has therefore made a unique contribution to the diversity, strength, and resilience of the Kenyan nation. I know you know this, Your Excellency, because when you visited Kenya, you had the occasion to speak to the Makonde people, who unfortunately cannot vote for you anymore because they are now Kenyans. <laughs> Today, we held fruitful bilateral discussions and signed a number of critical instruments which will go a very long way to facilitate closer and easier interaction and collaboration in diverse sectors where our people, enterprises, and industries are pursuing different opportunities. Our joint permanent commission on cooperation, which successfully negotiated these instruments, are also finalizing many others for implementation in due course. I'm very happy that when they reported to us that they had timelines for September, they have timelines for November, and it speaks to the commitment of our two countries to elevate our relations, which are strategic, to the next level. Tomorrow, we attend the Kenya-Mozambique Business Forum. And I want to report to you, Mr. President, that already a huge contingent of Kenyan business people and investors and entrepreneurs have already arrived in this city, ready for tomorrow's meeting, where we will convene to consider emerging opportunities and possibilities from a strategic uh, viewpoint. As you can see tonight, we stand on strong foundation of robust bilateral frameworks, family boys between a wonderful history of effective solidarity, impactful collaboration, and successful partnership, and also a bright future of abundant possibilities and tremendous opportunities. We are here to look upon these proud achievements and celebrate the spirit of mutual endeavor that made them possible and draw inspiration from them as we face an uncertain future in a complex, dynamic world with courage and resolve to succeed. I am very confident, Mr. President, that with the commitment that I see in you and your administration, we will not only build the necessary frameworks and partnerships to enable our business people in the private sector, but also in the public sector, to grow our economies, to create opportunities for employment of our young people, but to also grow our economies in a manner that will help us deal with the challenge of poverty as we grow wealth in our continent.